Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for September 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, I will be using for the main reading, and you can get to the main reading by just going right down there and, you know, where it says uh, Cross Watchers Jump To. I put a timestamp where the main reading is going to be. Now, all of this is the introduction, and it is going to be the same for every video if you're new to my channel. So just, you don't want to watch the introduction. I hope you watch it at least one time. But if you don't want to watch it, jump down there, hit the timestamp, okay? Okay, so generally for the weekend, what I will use is my Rodley Valentine, my Angel Tarot cards. I will use a John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. I'll also use my Emily Anderson crystal deck, and I started using, this is Doreen Virtue and Grant Virtue's Angels of Abundance Oracle cards. So, that'll be for the main reading. Now, for this reading, for the, you know, just the overview, the universal, I use the Weight Rider cards and my Colette Baron read the Good Tarot. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all these decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Now, hopefully my sound is doing well. Um, I've had a couple of those wonderful updates that always mess things up, but I've also had a couple of um, actually hardware updates, so... Hopefully, if things are a little bit easier, a little bit better. Now, let's go into what's going on in the, you know, just in the universe. Actually, I did post this, what I, what I usually read off of my notes. I did post um, a link for this in Facebook and in Instagram and Twitter. Not much of a person that, I don't do a lot of Twitter, but I did post this, and it is a blog um, on my website, and that's uh, DivineDestinyWithDebbie.com. So really, we've got, um, we are in the, the shadow of Mercury retrograde. Um, Mercury will officially go retrograde on the 9th of September, so we're in that shadow, so things should be heating up a little bit more. Remember, Mercury retrograde is where people tell you not to buy electronics unless you really have to, and in that case, then you might want to think about the warranty. Um, it's also communications. Mercury is in Libra, and when you know, a lot of Libras that I know, when Mercury is in retrograde, get a lot of people from the past, also people that might have passed on too. So the veil gets thinner and thinner. So here we go, and it will stay in Mercury retrograde will be that until October 2nd. And it actually bounces a little bit towards the end of the month. It will bounce into uh, Virgo for a little bit of time too. So at, when Mercury goes retrograde, we'll have six planets that are retrograde. Jupiter, which is in Aries. Again, Mercury, which right now is in Libra. Neptune, Pisces. Pluto, Capricorn, Saturn, which is in Aquarius, and Uranus, which is in Taurus. We only have two planets that are direct, and that is Mars in Gemini and Venus in Leo. Now, Venus will be jumping to Virgo September 5th, um, and then it will then jump to Libra in the 29th. But we don't have a whole lot going on for this weekend. Uh, September 1st, and I think I mentioned this uh, Mercury is trined with Mars, so there's some interesting stuff there. Um, but trining and sextiling, um, those are actually good energies. So then Mars, again, Gemini, um, is sextile with Jupiter. Uh, Mercury will be opposing, however, Jupiter, which is in, you know, retrograde in Aries. So there's, it's not a real heavy or hard duty stuff going on, but... We also have other things that are happening. We've got those planets in retrograde, and they're making their own music. So let's go on and just go and see what we have here. Remember, I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power, God, Holy Spirit. My job is just to let the words flow and hopefully stay out of its way. So let's see what we have here with the cards and what higher power wants to say for this weekend. Like I said, there's not, I mean, not a lot of real nasty or real strong energies um, adding into what we're already dealing with. So let's see. Let's see if this is going to be a very positive weekend. 
And it doesn't really, you know, whatever is going on in the world, yes, it does matter what goes on in the world, but we still have to live our lives. We still have to, you know, we still have to do what we need to do to carry on, okay? I did get a message before I was, um, before I started all of this, and this should be a weekend where we start not living in fear. You know, remember, fear is a tool of the devil, and, you know, it tries to control us, it tries to direct us. We need to work harder and harder not to live in fear. We are light workers. We are star seeds. So the fear, you know, let go of that fear. Don't let the fear control you. Okay, so that was really strong. I was like, okay, I'll talk. I'll tell everyone that. Okay, remember anything reversed is um, strong. It's, kind, it's a little bit more oomph to it. Let's see what we've got here. Well, there we go. The sun is shining. So we have, a, and numbers are very important also. So we have a 19. So that is a 1 and a 9. 1 is a new beginning. We can have it a 10 plus 9. 10 is transition. 0, God source energy. 9 says you have everything you need. Let's wrap it up. Let's do what needs to be done. Okay, so 19, you add it back up. It becomes a 1 plus 9 is a 10. Transition. And then we go back to the one which is that new beginning. So there is, you know, like I said, the, the energies didn't seem like they're trying to create havoc for us. It doesn't mean that there aren't things being revealed. The sun is also a very natural disinfectant. The sun is something that, you know, brings uh, light into, you know, into dark corners. And the sun is something that we all need a little more of, okay? Uh, the sun does, um, this does uh, denote... A good job this does denote you know again being fearless i really got the fearless um energy you know just fearless gotta you know, we have to believe we have to just have faith in what is going what not what is going on per se no not faith in in per se man itself but faith in the heavens faith in you know god spirit source holy spirit whatever it is whoever that is you want to say so have faith Faith is strong. Faith is shining. Here we go. Next card is, well, now we have that page of pentacles. Remember, um, court cards have dual energies. Okay, all the court cards do. So page's underlying energy is pentacles. So that is money energy. That is Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy. Um, you know, Capricorn and Taurus has a lot of strong stuff going on right now. I think Chiron's also in Taurus too, and I think that's another one that is retrograde. Not a real strong, uh, well, not nothing that we'd really talk about, but the wounded healer. Anyway, pentacles, money, job, career. Pages are going after new jobs, new money. There will always, no matter what happens in the world, there is always opportunities to create and there's opportunities to create something that can that can actually bring um, a living, can actually bring um, you know the money that you might need to do your living. So there's the sun energy going on. There's this pentacles energy. Page, you know, very enthusiastic, young energy, new energy. And generally, if this was personal reading, I would say new job, a uh, new career, even or a new opportunity coming in. So next card is. Okay, now we have, again, that was reversed. We have the Three of Pentacles. Now, the Three of Pentacles is, an, is also, it's very interesting. Now, Three is creativity, is uh, celebration. It also is the power of Three. You know, putting your energies out there, saying it three times, getting a couple of people with you to say it three times. Um, there's a lot of, you know, this is, this is one of those times, again, this goes with this, where there's a lot of creative energies in making money or in making provision when i see this card in this deck i feel like this is about provision now it's provision that is not necessarily something that we even expected uh, but it is you know it's kind of like preparing for that rainy day it's going maybe it's going and asking for a little bit of help but the provision is i do feel like this has a more spiritual aspect to it and again, um, you know, you, you put this together with that page, opportunities, new opportunities are about and are happening. So even if the world looks a little bit, um, you know, crazy, there's things, there is positive energies all around us. And again, we have the, that page energy and that pentacles energy and the three of pentacles. So, you know, and then two, the sun, you know, and I love, I love our little guy here. 
little guy, girl, you know, riding fearlessly. Be fearless. So there is, whatever this is, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of the money situation. Um, you know, not to tell you to just go out and spend money. We're, you know, that's not, you know, if you don't have the money, don't spend the money. But don't be afraid. Money is, um, there is money available. There is money to be, um, or uh, money, uh, is it money or is it just provision? I think it's more provision. But there are opportunities for that provision. How's that? Okay, let's go on to the Colette Baron Reed, the Good Tarot. And let's see what we've got. Oh, cards almost wanting to flip. Not quite, though. Let's see. We do need, there are going to, there is stuff, like I said, not to, you know, that be fearless. And there is, when you are fearless, you need to let go of so many things in order for you to embrace the possibilities. Okay, let's see what this is. We have the three of water. Now, this is the celebration card. This is always the celebration card. So we have three again. Um, you know, so we have pentacles. We have water. Uh, water is our Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio energies. It's very fluid, emotional. It's very spiritual energy, too. Again, three, power of three, celebratory creativity. So there's something, you know, <laughs> sometimes it just doesn't make sense. It's like, well, the world just seems like it's going to heck in a handbag or a handbag, you know, or in a, in a basket, whatever you want to say. And then the cards tell us to have hope. The cards tell us that things aren't as bad as they seem. And then we get the three of water, which is all about celebration. It's, always, it's all about believing. It's all about having faith. Faith in something that's larger than ourselves. So what do we say? What are you thinking about this video? I mean, what are you thinking about the, the readings? <laughs> you don't tell me about the video. But the readings. What? Who's interpreting what with all of these cards? I mean, these are positive money cards, and this is the celebration card. So let me know what you think about this. Okay. Also, too, besides commenting, please go down here to like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell for notifications. The weekend, um, it looks like, you know, at least universally, universally, yes, uh, it looks like there is provision, there is sunlight, there is a good um, you know, there's something good happening around us. Uh, we have to look for that sometimes. We have to believe. We have to have faith. But again, a lot of times this is, to me, this has a lot of provision to it. You know, there is the couple coming, and there is somebody here that, um, you know, in some ways you would think of this as a, you know, maybe a church, or because there's very, you know, the arches. But if you look, He's, you know, he's got an apron on. So he is, you know, so there is a servitude with this also. So, and, and these people do not look like they are wanting for anything. So are they bring, coming to him or is he providing for them? We will see. We will see. Okay, let me know again. And why don't we, right now, start our reading. And hello to my Sagittarius. How are you, my Sagittarius? Well, let's see. Let's see what's going on for this weekend. Yeah, the main theme that I've been saying on all the little videos or on all the astrological videos is, you know, I really was really, really strong not to be afraid this weekend. Now, usually that means to me, be bold. And my Sagittarius says, you can definitely be bold. But then I thought, well, what is it? Is, are we, is there something going on that we're going to be afraid of? But again, there's a lot of, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, my Sagittarius. And don't don't let anyone diminish your fire, okay? Okay, let's see what we have. Higher power, what do you want to say to our Sagittariuses? What do you want to say? Oh, you're, oh, I don't know. There's going to be a lot of sensitivity this weekend for you, but does that mean that you're just being very sensitive in the human realm, or are you very sensitive this weekend in the spiritual realm? I'm not quite sure about that one. I feel like you're going to be picking up, and I don't normally feel, I feel a lot, I always feel adventure and really good energy with you, but I feel like you're going to be picking up a lot of, um, just a lot of that spiritual energy around you. So again, maybe this is with Mercury in retrograde. There is a lot of times when maybe, you know, maybe you're going to have some people coming to visit you that have already passed on. I just, you know, just be aware and don't be afraid. Again, I keep getting that don't be afraid because it, it is a little bit, um, 
it is a little bit disconcerting when you have someone that has passed on come to visit you, whether it be in a dream or um, even where you can visually see them. Not quite sure what that's all about, but just don't, you know, just again, when they come, just ask them, hey, do you have a message? Is there something I need to, is, you don't have to need to do anything. Don't, I shouldn't say need. Is there something you want to tell me? Do you have a message? That's all you really have to do, okay? Okay, so let's see what we have. And if they say no, then um, okay. If it's a pleasant person that you wanted to see, enjoy. If not, tell them, you you know, you have to leave now. You have to leave. And, cl and I close the door on you. Okay, whoever, tell me if somebody needed to hear that. Um, okay, we have the two cards that are reversed. First card up is strength. Now, interesting with this, this is that justice card where Radley Valentine, you know, they... They flipped the strength card, which is usually the eight, and which is unlimited opportunities, to the justice card, which is usually one one, which is you know I'm kind of getting those pil that pillar type of energy uh, with the ones here too, ones here also. So, but ones a uh, one is a new beginning, new start. A uh, ten plus one is a transitioning into a new start. One plus one is two, is a choice, is a connection is a pathway. Do I go this way? Do I go that way? So this one, which, like I said, I, and, and I don't always say this, but when it feels like this one has a justice energy to it, it has a pillar energy to it, it has a, you know, you need, but at the same time, it's strength. And this is Archangel Ariel, who has a lot of, who is an archangel that's very earthly um, connected, you know, loves the trees, loves the animals, loves you know, or guards and watches over, okay? So Archangel Ariel really has an earth, is one of those earth angels, okay? So, um, you know, so we have all of these types of energies going on here. Strength, you know, it basically is about, you know, being kind, is not necessarily imposing your will, but does not mean that you're not doing what the right, or you're not telling, or you're not sharing what the right thing is, okay? It's not, you know, it's not just letting anyone, you know, just do whatever they want to do. Strength is stepping up to your, yeah, you know, stepping up for yourself is also um, standing up for yourself. That's really what I want to say. It is not just allowing things to just happen around you. It is, you know, is getting out there. It, you know, it's one of those things where you're just kind of like, I really don't want to have to say anything. I don't want to have to say anything, but I have to say something. And it's not easy to do. The thing about the strength card, though, and even with the justice card, is to really make sure that you do, you know, whatever you do, whatever you say, you do it with kindness. And because if you let anger in your heart, if you let anger rule your words, you're not going to get, you're, you're not going to get far at all. In fact, it'll backfire on you. So something with this, again, you know, stay strong. Again, you know, don't be afraid. But at the same time, make sure that you're not letting anger rule you. Okay? Okay. Anyway, great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. Your, last, your next card is the chariot. So now we have another archangel energy. Archangel Metatron, believed to have been Enoch. The chariot is a seven, so there's a divine energy, divine, well, these are both divine cards, but divine umbrella, divine intervention. Sometimes it's a divine interference. The chariot actually is a promoting energy. The chariot is getting to where it needs to get to. The chariot is also hands off the wheel, letting God, Holy Spirit, you know, Gaia, whoever that is to you, take control and guide wherever your path is to go. But the chariot to me also, to me, really means something that moves quickly. So once you go down that road, once you go down that path, it moves very quickly. It's like you get, the, you, get to the, you get to your destination pretty darn quick. But the chariot, again, is hands off the road, hand off the wheel. But again, it does mean that there is some, it's a positive. It's a positive push towards something that um, is good for you, Okay. So, an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. Your last card here, reversed, the page of water. Now, page is underlying energy, of course. We have the two energies in the court cards. Underlying energy is our earth, is our money, job, career, 
but then we have our water energy and that is our cancer pisces scorpio fluid emotional just really digging what you're doing just loving what it is that you're going into so whatever this is all about it leads into this page of water now the page of water can be a new romance you know i don't really go down that road too often but if you have any uh you know if you check your check your um natal chart because there i did go down one time that road for somebody for one of the charts here so you might want to do some cross watching to see if that resonates for you scorpio anyway the page of water has this um has this, I want to jump in. I don't necessarily want to look where I'm doing, where I'm jumping. I'm just going to get started. I really want this. And the earth energy does have that job energy, does have that money, does try to caution you and make you kind of, uh, it kind of tries to plant your feet on the ground. But the water energy says, you know, this, this page is more like, nope, I'm jumping in. I want this. So maybe that's where the strength is about too. But the chariot, um, the chariot's there. In some ways, that higher power energy is kind of pushing the page forward, saying, okay, go on, try, try. Intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and friendly. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. I do, think, I do feel that way, the heightened psychic abilities for my, um, my Sages this weekend, more so than ever, again, now, you know, water is also very mystical and very spiritual, too. So, but it's kind of like, I really, you know, like, you know, kind of like try it before you buy it. That's what the page of water is all about. Okay, let's see. And then the thing about that, though, is once you try it, you're like, ooh, I got to have it. So maybe that's where you want to maybe go with the earth energy and kind of like hold back a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Your choices with that. It sounds, you know, my, my Sages, you're always in excitement to me. So let's see this card. Reversed, we have a six, six. Is, so we have a one, one, seven, seven, one, one. We have a six, seven. Um, six is the number of man. It is the energies you put into something. It is what you create yourself. So you're creating. So I kind of feel like there is a lot of relationship energy here. Now that could be work, your job, your career. It could be personal or intimate or it could be something with family. But whatever it is, I feel like you want to move on to maybe move on to this new relationship, maybe move on to this new opportunity. You know, it just feels like, you know, it's like I'm ready, I'm leaving, I'm going forward. Now, it doesn't mean that you're getting a divorce, does not mean that you're, you know, any of those things. It just means you're, you're heading into something really kind of positive and something that's kind of warm and fuzzy at the same time, okay? Oh, I don't say warm and fuzzy, but I just did. Here we go. Let's see, and you can see, he's leaving the dark and he's going to the light where there's new, where there's green leaves. There's green leaves. Okay, let's see what the Angels of Abundance, Doreen and Grant Virtue, have to say for my Sagittarius. What do, what do you have to say for our Sagittarius? Here we go. Sagittariuses. Here we are. Do the work. Do the work. Okay, here we are. And maybe that's where strength is. It's not enough to dream or pray. You're also, you, you've You've also got to take the positive action steps that you are being divinely guided to take. Consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden. Do the work. I like that. How does that fit? How does that fit? What is the work? Let me know. You know, it took me a long time to realize that I didn't have to really understand all of the message. Just deliver it. So let's see. Crystal or energy? Crystal or energy for my Sagittarius's. What do we have here? What do we have here? Here we go. Reversed. Fire. Fire. Passionate. Creation. Travel. Courage. Kind of goes with the do the work. Light your fire. Anyway, my Sagittarius is, please comment. Let me know how this might fit with what's going on in your life. Anyway, take a moment to, to like, share, subscribe, 
Click on the bell for notifications. As always, my Sagittariuses, know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.